Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lock Looney Tune. I am here giving you guys a fasting update. Today is day 10 of my fasting quote unquote liquid diet because I'm not just juicing, I'm doing everything liquid, no solids. So I am doing juicing as well as um, water. Um, I'm drinking Slim Fast. I'm drinking protein drinks. I'm drinking soup. I am drinking soup. I'm not just, you know, taking in only juice or only water. I'm just not taking any any um, solid foods right now. It's only day 10, so I'm doing okay. My goal, like I said, is to get to 266. My weights, I started at uh, on, uh, what is it, May 23rd was the first day. And when I started, I was 293 pounds. 292, 293. I think I was 293. And right now I am at 286. No, 288. 288.6. So it's still, you know, it's the weight loss is not as, uh, it's not coming down off. It's not coming off as much as it would be if I was just doing straight juice or straight water or anything like that. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's slowly, gradually going down because I am taking in proteins, I am taking in um, soup and um, uh, some sodium, not a lot but you know some sodium I am taking in as well so the weight loss is not going to be as uh, quick as it would be with just a regular juice fast but um, I am definitely definitely trying to get this weight off I'm worried about it because I, of my insurance, and I don't know what's going to happen with me having my surgery this summer. I don't see me getting to 266 before, like, mid-June. I don't see that happening. Um, I'm just being realistic here, as opposed to, you know, really trying to push myself so crazy. You know, I didn't want it to work the way that it's working right now, but I am dropping the weight and that's you know good for me want to get everything straightened out with the insurance and if it doesn't go as well as I wanted to they might have to change the date like they might I might have to end up missing some school or something like that it might have not I might be pushing it kind of close pride I want to get that surgery done this year you know it's definitely I definitely want to get it done this year but um it doesn't look like I'll be getting it done this summer, but I don't want to jump the gun yet. And that's not because of me, and it's not because of my doctors. This time it's because of the insurance. So, um, yeah, so we'll just see what uh, what happens with that. Next thing, uh, I have not been smoking for officially... Let's see, it's over 45 days, guys. It's definitely been more than 45 days. It is officially 48 days that I have not been smoking, if you guys can see this. 48 days, 6 hours and 13 minutes. I stopped smoking on April 14th, 2013 at 2.40. That says 1440. You know, that's military time. So that's... Uh, and... 48 days, oops, 48 days since my last cigarette, I have saved $67.56, and I haven't smoked 193 cigarettes. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I feel weird. Like, I feel weird not having a cigarette in my hand. It just, just, it still feels weird. Even after almost 50 days, it still feels a little, mm, I don't know what the word, I don't know what it is, you know, but it still feels a little weird not having my cigarette in my hand. Um, things tend to, I'm going to tell you what, what, what has changed, you know, about me. Things tend to irritate me a lot more now, you know. Um, I'm not as calm or focused, uh, as I would be as if I was um, smoking. I'm not, 
you know, I'm easily pissed off. I don't like that. I don't like feeling like that. You know, that's that's the thing about not smoking. I don't like feeling like I'm on the edge. I don't like feeling like that. And smoking was that thing that did keep me centered <laughs> and a little calm and a little easy to deal with certain things. But I've been, you know, and I've been handling the snacking. I don't, you know, I don't do that anymore. I haven't even been doing, you know, the Jolly Ranchers that I have been doing. I don't do that anymore. I stopped doing that. So now I just get up and go during the day. And now um, it doesn't bother me that my husband smokes. It doesn't really bother me much. He can actually light up a cigarette in front of me and it doesn't bother me at all. So um, that's a good thing. So that's how that's going. I'm really, um, and that's willpower. That right there was straight uh, willpower. Quitting smoking, cold turkey, no patch, no nothing. I mean, I was just dealing with it in my own way, doing, chewing my own gum, doing my own, just, just, it was, I just dealt with it the way I needed to deal with it, you know. Once the doctor told me that I should quit smoking for the surgery, that was the light bulb that went on my went off in my head to just say, okay, you really want this surgery, you got to do that. So I just decided to do it, and that was pretty much it. Next, walk a day in June. Walk a day in June, guys. It's here. Today was June 1st. Today is June 1st, 2013. Um, and today was the first day of walk a day in June. My walk a day in June challenge that I have done um, I did it last year and I'm going to do it again this year every single day I am going to walk last year what I did was I went outside usually and um, I did my vlogs um, outside where I was walking I might do that I might do some, some of those as well uh, this year this time um, some of my walks will be done in the house. Some of my walks will be done by, uh, via Leslie Sanson. I'll be doing my videos, but I am going to do a walk a day, um, in June video every single day. You can consider this video right now. You can consider that my very first one because I'm not going to make another video. <laughs> um, because it is 8.57 in the evening and I have been out today and I have walked today so I've done probably a mile today my um I went out with the kids and everything and we got out and about and um yeah we did my walk and I actually got a blister I just got a blister on my foot today so you know regardless I'm still going to power through that walk tomorrow so I think my walk uh <coughs> I have to go out tomorrow actually um pick up my son some um shoes for his graduation tomorrow so that will be my walk tomorrow so I'll probably be coming through um, coming through via my phone when I'm walking um, to go get shoes and stuff tomorrow so I'll be getting my walk on tomorrow if you guys want to join the walk a day in June challenge just walk you know what I'm saying you can put video responses to my videos every day do whatever it is you want to do let me know that you're walking or if you don't make videos you can comment under, under my videos um, at each day and let me know um, how much you're walking whether you walked a mile whether you walked for 30 minutes you can tell me anything but this is my walk a day in June challenge get your walk on at home get your walk on outside get your walk on at the gym do whatever it is you need to do to get your walk on. Even if you just walk down to the corner and back, it is an effort that you are making. That's the most important part to get up and get moving, guys. So um, I think that's all that I want to talk to you guys about today. So let's get moving and let's get up and get it started. So I will holler at you guys in my next video. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace. Chill, relax, and learn a lesson. No nine millimeters, no heaters, I spent the lesson. You'll find this rhyme stay pure.